Yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here, and welcome back to another Hermit unboxing video. Actually, it's not an unboxing video. It's just like a review video because I've already unboxed the thing, and I'll explain why here in a minute. Okay, today we are looking at... Oh, my, my lens. What, what? <laughs> We're looking at... This is... I have to look at my cheat sheet. The Chewy High 10 Pro 2-in-1 Ultra Book tablet PC and it's available from GearBest. Now GearBest is a company, they've got a bunch of crazy uh, type of electronics and, and gadgets and toys and stuff like that. Uh, they send me emails and they say, hey, do you think this is something that you would like or more importantly, something your fans would be into? Um, and you know, a lot of times I'm like, eh, I don't think that's really anything that they would like. Uh, but today, this one, I think it's cool. Um, they sent it to me. I've been using it. It's really nifty. Let me give you the like the generic B technical uh, overview and comparison before we actually test this out. Um, so as far as size wise goes, my main go to is the Apple Air 2, I think is what this is. Um, this is what I use for all of my recording uh, and my normal like mobile gameplay that you see on my channel. This is my Samsung Galaxy Tab S2, which I bought because I needed to record some Android stuff. Um, Android stuff is really hard to record uh, with because it's got that copy protection on it. So just keep that in mind if you ever want to record mobile games, right? And then of course we've got the new Chewy, 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 uh, Chewy Pad. So as a comparison, I'm gonna stack all these together and then hold them up like that, right? So this is the, the tall one in the back is the, is the Chewy. You can see thickness wise, it's maybe a little thicker, but not too much thicker. Um, it's also a little bit more narrow than the iPad and the Samsung. It's got a 10.1 inch screen. Um, weight wise, feels about the same, to be honest. So nothing like, nothing major. Let me give you the rundown though on the tech specs of this. I gotta scroll down. Let me get to my cheats. Cause I can't remember all this nerdy stuff. Were you kidding me? Uh, it's got four gigs of RAM on it, 64 gigs of storage, on it. It's got a 1.44 gigahertz quad core processor uh, and it, of course a generation 8 Intel HD graphics card. 10.1 uh, inch screen. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1200. You can see all this stuff on the website in case it's uh, you know too much for you. It has two cameras on it. It has one right here on the front and it's got one on the back. Both of them are just two megapixel which is fine. And it the cool thing about it that I really like about this is you can either use Android, which I'm not an Android fan, or you can use Windows 10. And this is not just some kind of watered down tablet-y version of Windows 10. It is the legit Windows 10. I would say a comparable, um, a comparable model for this, if you wanted to look up like kind of apples to apples, uh, would be the Microsoft Surface 3. The Surface 3 is very similar to this as far as size and all that goes. It has a slightly faster processor. Um, it has half of the memory, so this has four gigs. The Surface 3, like base model, has two gigs of memory. Um, same amount of storage and whatnot, uh, but the Surface 3 is $500 base model, and this is like 150 something bucks, right? Um, other cool things about it, to show you, it has a uh, like an SD card slot, so you can put up to 128 gig extra storage space on here. It's got a micro HDMI, so you could hook it up to your TV and all of that type of stuff. Uh, and it also has a USB 3 plug, which is what you use to charge it, um, but also you can connect it to other things for like high speed storage and all that. So it's really, really cool. Okay, enough jibber jabber. Let's get into it. I want to show you how it actually works. We're going to test some, um, looking at some YouTube videos, maybe some Twitch, and then uh, let's try out like Minecraft to see, you know, if you can actually play a game on here. Okay, let's get started. 
All right, all right. So, here we are. We've got our beautiful <laughs> notebook going on, our tablet going on. And uh, just to show you, like, this is actual, honest to goodness, Windows 10. I know that that's probably nothing amazing for you guys, but for me, it's kind of cool because, like, I know Windows 10 a lot. I'm a Windows user on my PC, so to have exactly the same thing going on on a tablet is pretty cool to me. Uh, let's show, I got my, oh, hey, look at there. Got my, my channel all ready to go. Uh, just click on a video. And of course, it'll be as fast as your internet connection type thing. <laughs> and so now we're in the full screen mode, right? So yeah, we just turn it up a little bit. Let's use unlock the door. Right? So it works nice. So you can totally totally watch your uh, watch your YouTube videos on here, which is nothing, you know, you would expect that. Um, so now I'm on Twitch. Let's try watching a little little something or other on Twitch. I'll see who is available. And yeah, this guy must be pretty good, I guess. I don't know. Overwatch, which would have uh, like a lot of movement in the stream. So we'll load that sucker up. And you can see there's all the chat and stuff, so forth. I'm actually gonna open it up full screen. All right. So there we go. Flawless. Running nice. Did he win? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, it does seem to be doing a little bit of buffering, but that's you know that's more of the uh, more of my internet connection because my Wi-Fi is like on the other side of the house. So, but. Otherwise, looking pretty good, right? All right, and then finally, let's close this whole bad boy out. Um, I wanted to try to play a little bit of some video games. I got Minecraft on here. Uh, this is the Windows 10 edition, and it works out fantastic. I've already created a couple worlds. Uh, yeah, let's just go hop into one. Hopefully this is the one that's not uh, <laughs> not on an island, because <laughs> I did an island one. Is this the island one? Let's look around. So yeah, oh no, we're fine. Oh yeah, no, this is the island one. So looking around, you can see, let me hop out of, how you get out of that mode? I can't even remember. Boom, 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 stop jumping. Are we good now? Yeah, we're good now. All right. So you can see I can pan around, things are pretty good, there's not a whole lot of uh, lag and whatnot and so forth. I can plant, plant, I can plant stone, you can build. I don't know how you guys do, do mobile Minecraft, see like I'm trying so hard to get it. But it works, works great. We can come over here, and plus I'm also kinda at a wonky angle because of the camera. Come here you, come here jerk. Meow. Come, come back here. Hey, oh, you came for more? I don't think so, kid. Right? So that works out really good. Now, the thing I haven't tried, um, which I would be curious about, is, so this is a Windows 10 tablet. Technically, you could run something like, um, like I use Playclaw to record. Uh, you could use Fraps or... OBS or DX Story, whatever you typically would use uh, for recording. Technically, you could use this little tablet, play Minecraft, and record it while you're playing, and then upload it directly to YouTube all from this. Technically. Um, I don't know if the processor or the RAM is enough. I'm guessing it would be for, for something like Minecraft. On the website, this shows pictures of people playing Overwatch on it. I Honestly, I don't know if it's got the speed and the power to do that. Um, my guess is kind of no, but for what it is, for a tablet with Windows 10 on it that you could play all this type of stuff and do all the types of things that you could uh, normally do on a tablet, if you do, uh, you know, like Office and stuff, you're using an actual Microsoft Office, you're not using like the weird you know, uh, like mobile versions of it. All of that for 150 something bucks, you can't beat it with a stick. 
especially since their competitors are like 500 bucks. <laughs> but that's gonna do it for me. If you guys are interested in getting this, I'm gonna put a link in the description. Thank you Gearbest for sending this to me. I'm for sure gonna be using this because I, I would love, I love having an actual computer in a tablet form for me and not something that's like a watered down version. So thank you, thank you very much Gearbest. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure and drop a like. And until next time, take care. Brush your hair. I sure want to see you. Peace.